quickly see our architecture so this is say going to be our uh, ebs deployment architecture which we have seen it now this uh, at the initial level looks very scary uh, what all services are there and yes uh, i agree like you know this is basically the old uh, icons but yes this i really personally like this uh, architecture diagram uh, a lot with the new one the new icons so here if you see you have got an application tier multiple application tiers so high availability solution is implemented you have got the data card uh, which basically does it so this is basically in the two data center within the same region so you do the um, database uh, uh, dr instance here okay now this can be your exadata rack or any kind of single node database as well okay so maybe at the database level you may have high availability or you may not have that if you want to have high availability yes the rack you can deploy it as a part of database and you have got various uh, components if you see here on the networking side you have got various uh, subnets created and you have got the routing table you have got the security list here so this is basically uh, doing the data guard uh, means the secondary data secondary database here and further across the region okay if you see across the region now this is going to be my one network okay let me use drawing tools here so this is say going to be my one vcn and this is going to be my say another vcn now there is basically a communication between the two networks to make the communication between the two networks within two different regions we need to have an network vcn peering needs to be done okay so that is where the peering concept comes into picture now if you see here there is one data guard here and another one we are having it here okay now th this is basically known as the daisy chain approach okay our most recommended architecture uh, by oracle so here you know you, you are just going to ship ship it here this is going to be in the synchronized mode and this th this is further going to sync uh, this data guard and this is going to be in the async mode so that gives you so th this gives you protection against the data center okay if suppose your this is down then this is going to be there this also gives you a protection against the region in case if my this region is down i already have an instance here to recover okay so depending upon like the pre-decided rto and rpo of the with the customer we can basically attend whatever is the requirement and can bring the instance up and running so that is initially i will say that one of the best deployment architecture but yes here the main thing is the components which we are using to attend this architecture okay we are also using multiple oci services here auditing identity and access managements to control the access we are going to have a policy uh, we are using the storage services too okay and apart from these two storage services you already have an storage attached to these vms which is known as the block storage okay now apart from that to get the security we are using say bastion server okay so that uh, all the ssh connectivity or say it is going to be one point of entry to connect to any of these instances okay so that is via bastion servers and now oracle has got the bastion services as well okay so you don't have to get these servers but directly you can enable the bastion service and via that service you can connect it to the instances right you can also see the load balancer here okay so this is going to be your endpoint url for accessing the application and at the back end you can see various servers are added now on the networking side as well you can see the dynamic routing gateway you can see the internet gateway like uh, 
uh, for, for having a public access here DMZ application or this is going to be say within the data centers of your on-prem you are going to have the connectivity right and there is a secure connectivity of IPsec VPN site to site VPN or even you can use the fast connect options as well so if you see the overall architecture diagram you are going to see that okay various services are used for the deployment and you need to have a proper understanding of those services so that down the line when you are going to do the deployment you will be able to control it you will be able to guide the team you will be able to do the best deployment on the cloud for e-business suite so guys this was our cloud expert from team k21 academy and if in case you have missed upon any concepts or if you want to have deeper dive then we have something really 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 special for you we have our free class on build manage and migrate ebs r12 to cloud for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about the future of ebs r12 you'll be learning about EBS R12 on cloud, you'll be learning about a holistic overview of cloud manager of EBS. You'll be getting a demo where you'll be learning about lift and shift to cloud. You'll be learning about the architecture. And most importantly, you'll be learning about some amazing job opportunities and a whole eight week roadmap to get your life started on this. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash EBS cloud. 02 and you'll be seeing this kind of interface you just have to click on book your free seats now select your event date according to your availability add your name your email your phone number and click on yes save my seat moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of url on the extreme right save that url to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning